Welcome to Akshara Foundation's video on perimeter and area for 2D shapes, nets and 3D shapes. Akshara's math kit has 2D shapes, geoboard, tangram, 3D shapes and nets to help you teach these concepts. Show the 2D shapes in the maths kit to the students and ask them to name the various shapes. The shapes have two dimensions, the length and breadth which lie on the same plane. Different 2D shapes can be created on the geoboard with rubber bands. Stretch the rubber bands and form these shapes. A circle can be formed on the reverse side of the geoboard. Let students now create different shapes on the geoboard. In a plane figure, lines forming the figure are called sides and the point where the two sides meet is called a vertex. Thus, a triangle has three sides and three vertices. Note that the three sides can be of the same length or of different lengths. Observe that a rectangle has four sides and four vertices. If one side of this rectangle measures 2 cm and the adjacent side measures 4 cm, the opposite sides will be of the same measure. Thus, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. A square is a special rectangle where all four sides are equal. If an ant starts walking from point A through B, C, D of a rectangle A, B, C, D with sides 2 cm by 4 cm and comes back to A, it will cover a distance of 12 cm. This is equal to the sum of the lengths of the sides of the figure or its perimeter. Perimeter is expressed in centimeters or meters. Here is a fun fact. A quick way to find the perimeter of a rectangle is to add its length and breadth and multiply by 2. In a square, since all sides are equal, the perimeter is 4 times the length of one side. Ask students to draw rectangles and squares on square rule paper and measure the perimeter. A rectangular school playground needs a wall around it. Let students measure the length and the width of the playground and calculate the perimeter. If the length of the ground is 100 meters and the width is 70 meters, 100 meters plus 70 meters is 170 meters. Therefore, the perimeter is 170 multiplied by 2, which is 340 meters. Ask students to come up with such examples where calculating the perimeter provides solutions to a problem. Perimeter can be calculated for any figure if we use a square as one unit. For example, the perimeter of this irregular figure is 14 units, taking the length of each square as one unit. Ask students to now measure the perimeter of other irregular figures. But what about a circle? A circle does not have any corners or vertices. It is just one closed curved line. To draw a circle, tie a chalk to a string. Hold one end of the string firmly at a spot on the blackboard and trace a circle with the chalk. The fixed end of the string is called the center. The length of the string from the center point to any point on the circle is the radius. The length of the radius is the same at any point on the circle. Show the circle on the geoboard and mark the radius. Any straight line which joins two points on the circle and passes through the center is the diameter. The diameter is twice the length of the radius. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. Here is a fun activity. Take a bangle and place a string along its edge. Now, open out the string and measure it to get the circumference of the bangle. 
For practice, let students find the diameter of a few circles when the radius is given and also find the radius when the diameter is given. Draw the student's attention to the space enclosed within the perimeter. This enclosed space is called the area. Area is expressed as square units, as square centimeters or as square meters. Let us now take a rectangle with sides 2 centimeters and 4 centimeters and fit in squares with sides measuring 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. How many such squares are contained within the rectangle? 8 squares can be fit in this rectangle. Thus, the area is 8 square centimeters, which is the same as the length multiplied by the breadth. Hence, the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. What is the area of a square whose side is 2 centimeters? Length multiplied by breadth is 2 centimeters multiplied by 2 centimeters, which is 4 square centimeters. So the area is 4 square centimeters. Let students work out the area for other rectangles and squares where length and breadth are given. They can first use the geoboard and then draw on paper. To calculate the area of irregular figures, students can use the geoboard and square rule paper. Two figures with the same perimeter, say for example 14 units, may have different areas. On the other hand, the area may be 8 square units for two other shapes. But the perimeter in this case may or may not be the same. How many shapes can students draw whose area is 16 square units? What is the perimeter in each case? Let them draw a few more examples on square rule books. Give students the tangram consisting of seven pieces from the maths kit. Ask them to make as many shapes as they can using all the seven pieces. Point out that since the same pieces are used, the area of each new figure does not change. Let them measure the perimeter of each figure. They will see that while the area is the same, the perimeter can vary. Students can now be introduced to solid shapes or three-dimensional figures. Stack the square counters one on top of the other and show how a flat shape becomes a figure with a 3D dimension, which is the height. Show the cuboid in the maths kit and let them see that it resembles the shape of the stacked counters. Both these figures are three-dimensional and are called cuboids. Point out that the opposite sides of a cuboid are equal rectangles and are flat shapes. A geometry box is an example of a cuboid. Students can name some more shapes resembling cuboids. Introduce students to the different shapes from the maths kit. A cube is a 3D figure with all its sides as equal squares. A dice is an example of a cube. Introduce the pyramid, which is the shape of the Egypt pyramid. Ask students to name the shape. A pipe is an example of a cylinder, while an ice cream cone is an example of a cone, as the name suggests. Ask students to examine the 3D shapes given in the math kit, observe their sides and bases, and then name a few more examples of each shape. What happens? When a cylinder is placed on a sloping surface, the cylinder rolls. If we place it on its flat side, the cylinder slides. It does not roll. A 3D figure rolls on its curved surface and slides on its flat surface. Thus, a cylinder has one curved surface and two flat surfaces. Let students place a cube on the sloping surface. It will not roll but will slide. A cube, a cuboid and a pyramid have only flat surfaces 
and no curved surfaces. Now, let students try with a cone. A cone has one curved surface and a flat surface. A flat surface is also called a face of the 3D shape. Let students draw the flat faces of these shapes by placing the flat surface of each figure on paper and tracing the outline. Where two faces meet, it is called an edge. A cuboid has six flat faces and twelve edges. A cube has six flat faces and twelve edges. A square base pyramid has five flat faces and eight edges. A cylinder has two flat faces, one curved surface and two edges, while a cone has one flat face, one curved surface and one edge. A vertex in a solid shape is the point where three edges meet. A cube as well as a cuboid, have eight vertices. A pyramid has five vertices. A cylinder, on the other hand, does not have a vertex since it does not have three edges meeting. Similarly, a cone does not have a vertex, but some people prefer to call the pointed tip as a vertex. Can students name a shape which has zero flat surfaces zero edges and zero vertices? Tell them that this interesting shape is called a sphere. Every 3D shape can be spread out as flat 2D shapes. These are called nets. For example, if we take a solid shape such as the cube and we unfold it or open it up, we get a flat shape with six sides or squares. Nets are provided in the maths kit for cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder and the square base pyramid. Take the net for any shape. Fold it according to the marked edges on the paper. Then insert it into the appropriate 3D shape and see how it fits perfectly. Ensure that students understand the relationship between plane shapes, solid shapes and nets. Students will now enjoy relating concepts to daily life. They will confidently attempt any problems related to area, perimeter and shapes.